What's up, my pilots? Angry Poncho here, and we're back playing Minecraft. In the last episode, I derped in several different ways in the nether, and the result of which was another portal in and out at two locations, the location of a blaze spawner, and also some stuff. In other news, I did not get a blaze rod. I realized that afterwards, that I did not get even a single blaze rod. So we're going to have to go back for that eventually, but not in this episode. I missed the sky. So in this episode, um, I off-screen, before this episode, went down to my nether, or excuse me, my zombie grinder, and got up to level 40. And now I'm going to spend it on this diamond sword, which is only partially what you call it. I need something that I can't swap for. There we go. Now it's only uh, somewhat damaged, but there was a 40 I went right past. Cool. I know that it's sort of dumb to not use all your... Well, I'm going to use all my levels. I'm going to need a level 40 enchantment for this sword. There's one. Ah! Mm, ah eh, I don't know. Bane of Arthropods 5, Looting 3. Hmm. Interesting. I'll keep it. I'll keep it. Alright, we'll continue. Let's not open doors with the flint and steel, that's a bad idea. <laughs> but yeah, still, for day-to-day -day stuff, I'm not going to use my enchanting, my enchanted items. I'm going to sort of save them up until I have a nice set of them. Let's only put those away. i got an iron sword here I can use. Now, in this video, I want to make a... Oh yeah, I moved my chests over here, two of them, because I need more space. So here's all the food. I want to make a sheep farm, essentially. Not a sheep farm, but really a wool a wool farm. I'm going to build a complex. I, I, I did a practice of this in a, my other world. I have sort of a flat test world where I try stuff out. Let's go sleep. And I tested this out and figured out a, a pretty good way to do this. And I, I got some inspiration from a post I saw on Reddit. If you don't go on the Minecraft subreddit, you should check it out. It's a good place to get ideas and get inspiration for cool things to build. Oh, excuse me. I've, I've been having a really hard time swallowing lately. I don't know why. It's just I, I always have to, I have to take a long pause before I swallow. Ah, oh, I have no idea what's causing it, but it's really irritating me. Look at all the skeletons dying in unison. It's so funny. So the first thing that we're going to need for this is a load of sheep. I'm going to be honest, I haven't seen very many sheep around here lately, so we're going to have to just try and do our best to try another creeper up there, but I don't really care. My armor is a little bit damaged, so I'm just waiting for it to all break. Ah, so if you hear strange pauses in the, t in the dialogue, sorry, but my, I'm having a hard time swallowing. I have no idea. It's a weird symptom. Ah, this is because my throat's dry. I need to drink more. I get really... Uh, thirsty sometimes. I, I, say, I say pretty hydrated, I just don't uh, drink enough water. I drink too much of other fluids, like tea and soda. Now, I don't see any sheep. The cool thing about sheep is that you can herd them. Or rather, you can lead them around like some sort of sheep messiah. If you've got wheat, you pull it out and you're like, Hey, you want some wheat? <laughs> and they're like, Yeah! Oh, yeah! He's got wheat! This guy's cool as hell! Actually works for chickens. Oh, hello, creeper. Don't kill the chickens! Don't kill the chickens! Uh -huh. I didn't hear him coming. I just happened to turn around. So you take the wheat out, and the chickens are like, Ooh, this guy's cool. Here, chicken. Oh, there's, there's some sheep. Oh, there's three sheep. Okay, great. Let me figure out... Hello. Thanks for pushing me down here, jackasses. Here's a neat cave. I hear Enderman. We're not really here to go cave exploring. Where's that Enderman? Can't be far off. He's pretty loud. Look at all the creepers! Oh my gosh! There you go. I figured one of them would probably kill the others. No? You're a durable little creeper. I'm gonna take your stuff. Yeah, like I say, I'm not here to go caving. I don't, know, I don't even see the Enderman. I don't know where he's at. Let me get out of here. Something is right on top of me. 
Anyway, so hello, sheep. So you take the wool out, the wheat out, and the sheep are like, Ooh, this guy's got wheat! Yeah, let me make a path. I'm gonna take these sheep back to the homeland. Back to our house, if I can. It's a little bit tricky. I might want to swim. Because they're not the smartest creatures. And they, they won't really... They won't, they won't they don't do much pathfinding besides trying to walk straight towards you and sort of going in like a left, like a counterclockwise circle. At least as long as I get two of them all the way back, we'll be okay. Yeah, one of them got caught. That's fine. Come on, guys. This way. I'm the messiah of sheep. I just love how, like, if you put the weed away, they stop giving a crap. Like, they just don't care. They're just like, oh, we're cool. If you take it out, and you're like, hey guys, you want some wheat? Everybody turns and is like, yeah! It's like when you're in elementary school, and you take out your gum, and put in a piece of gum, like start chewing some gum. Everybody around you is like, ooh, I want a piece, I want some gum. And the sheep are all like, ooh, I want some wheat. <laughs> I'm getting what, five or six chickens, too. I probably should take advantage of that, and fence them in as well. Oops, I can't, you can't put it away, or they will totally lose interest, though. So I'm just going to get these guys pretty close over here. And then I'll, I'll let them wander on their own. So I'm going to go get some wood to make a fence. This is not going to be an outdoor area, I don't, I don't think. I don't know. I have this design that's like 20 by 3 by 8. And I, I want to build it somewhere, but I, I don't want it to be... I don't know if I want to waste bricks to make a, like a building for it. Or if I want to dig a cave into the side of the mountain for it. I can't decide. As it stands, I have a ridiculous amount of cobble. But the only thing I need is just some coal. This is my loot chest here. One thing I need is... I don't have too, I don't have too much spare coal. So I don't want to totally like burn up all my coal making stone bricks. So I'll make some. But not that much. What I really need to get going is a tree farm. Because... Ca uh, charcoal is a much more efficient, as well as a renewable uh, resource. So it's, it's way better than coal in a, in a lot of ways. Bring all that down here. Okay, cool. Let's go back out there. Oh wait, I need fence. I need wood for fences. So let me take this stuff. I'm just gonna make a load of these. I'm, I'm probably gonna need a bunch of fences. So just make a bunch of sticks. Why not? Give me all those. All of these. That worked out well. Okay, I got 48 fence pieces. Alright, that's what I want. And now I'm going to go down here and attempt to fence these two sheep in. And we're going to have them have a baby sheep! It's going to be great. Oh, let's sprint. I'm getting bored. Run! Run to the sheep! Alright, now, hmm, where do I want to put this place? Hey guys, come a little closer. You want some wheat? <laughs> They're like, yeah, I want a piece of wheat. Ooh, chicken egg. I'll take that, thank you. Don't fall in that hole over there, okay guys? It's very dangerous. We can, I can, we can all attest to that. Okay, now I'm going to build a little pen up here. There's another sheep right over there, nice. How do you make fence gates. I do not remember how to do that. That's probably a little smaller than it would than it likely should be. Uh, I need a I need a hammer. A hammer, what an axe. I need an axe. Okay, how does one make Let me make a workbench just to stick down here next to this. So I think it's like I think it's like this. No. Okay, what about that? Nope. It's not a stick in the middle, is it? How do you... Now, I know it isn't a door. Huh, or maybe you have to use sticks. Okay, so maybe it's like... It's not fences, but sticks. Yeah, it is. Okay, there we go. I just need one little door. Alright. <laughs> hey, guys! You want some wheat? <laughs> so fun. Don't go in the hole, sheep. Don't go in the hole. Okay. Now I really just want the sheep to get in this pen. The chickens are sort of 
You're just gonna get in the way, to be honest. Come on, sheep. And put it away. Okay, get out of here, chicken. Eh, I'll probably have to slaughter some of the chickens, whatever. Come in. Come here. Come here. Yeah, I don't want all these chickens in here. <laughs> get out! <laughs> Chicken bastards. Alright. Excuse me. There we go. Alright, perfect. Now, you see they eat grass now? Isn't that cool? And they regrow their wool. So, what I'm going to do is... See, they really like wheat. You give two creatures wheat, like this, with like by right clicking, and you feed them the wheat, and they get these hearts popping out of their head, and then you give another one wheat, and they will kiss. You see them smooching? And then kabam! It's a baby sheep! Oh! And then for a little while, the sheep will no longer care about wheat. You see, they're not like they're not really following the wheat. But what will what is cool is they will follow their baby around. So if you can just stay in the pen, I'd like to get the chickens out, actually. There we go. Come here, chickens. Now the cool thing about chickens is that they're really not that smart. So they can't they'll they'll walk into holes that they can't get out of. Come here, chicken. See, he's not gonna be able to get out of that. <laughs> so there's an impromptu chicken pen. You see, here we have a chicken going down my stairs, even though he doesn't know what the heck stairs are. Silly chicken. So you can see, just... There you go. Now I have a chicken hole. And after a set amount of time, that baby will grow up. It actually might be a set amount of grass blocks eaten. I'm not totally sure. Hey guys, you want some wheat? <laughs> That's so much fun. I just... Ah! I love it. Oh, look at all the chickens over here. Hey guys, come here. I'm planning on making a chicken farm too, so collecting all these guys is beneficial. Look at all the chickens. I didn't realize I had so many. I think it's because when they lay eggs, they, the eggs have a chance of hatching while they're laying on the ground. And so you can end up with loads of chickens. Now for me, chickens are, are not really renewable food because I have more than enough bread for that. My, my wheat farm that I have now will provide me with enough f sustenance. Chicken farms are for getting feathers. But you do get meat along with it, so you can't really get away from that. Now, they are a pretty good way to get meat, if that's what you're looking for. So, don't think I'm saying that, you know, because they are, they are good for, you know, food as well. If you're into eating animals or whatever, if that's just your thing. Apparently there are some people who actually like to eat animals, can you believe that? Just, it's so weird. Uh... Come on, chickens! I said, now I, got, now I got to try and get the chickens to run into the hole without losing the sheep in there. <laughs> Maybe I should just get the sheep to chill out somewhere else. Look at, look at him. You get these the animals just like, swirling around you. It's very strange. I don't know why the AI makes them walk in circles like that. But now, let me see if I can get the chickens to go in there. Yeah, chicken, 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 chickens! Yeah, look at them. They're so dumb. I'm just going to push this guy in. Come here, you. Hey! Hey! It's pretty easy to push him around, too. So you can see I'm just gonna push him right in the hole. Oh! Hey! Where are you going? Actually, you know what? I know, you, I, know your, I know your secrets. I can lure you in with wheat. It's easy. There we go. So now the chickens are in the hole. Come here, sheep. I want you to go in this pen over here. This way, sheep. Good sheep. Now stay in the pen. Excuse me, guys. Pen should be a little bit larger, actually. <laughs> It'd be more convenient. Oh, how did you get out? What the hell? Oh, that's one of the parents. He's not going to care about my wheat. Dang it. i got to try and push him back in. That's going to be a pain, let me tell you. Get over there. Go on. He's bumping into a chicken, isn't he? Go into the pen. Yes! Score. Alright. It's kind of dark out here. Let me put some torches down just to... Keep mobs from appearing on top of my face. Okay, so now that I've got like a breeding thing going here, as soon as that as soon as that child grows up, they'll be ready to breed, and I'm gonna make the two of them breed in pairs. But in the meantime, let me see. I brought some food for myself, didn't I? Mmm, zombie flesh. I think I'm gonna dig a, a wheat an area out here, and then what I want it to be is. Uh, sort of 
on ground level, which I'm supposing I'm just going to leave as it is here. So I'm going to dig it in. I just totally jumped into here, and not trying to jump out. Okay. So it'll be a ground level, which is about here. I'm going to dig into this wall, an area, let's do seven blocks wide. And then it'll be three blocks tall. So let me just do the front part so you guys can see the size of it and get a feel for it. If you feel like copying this wheat farm. This wheat farm was inspired by something I saw on Reddit, so it wasn't my idea. But I sort of put my own... I, you know, I designed the building, but the, the modules that it's going to be made of, I got from Reddit. So, this size, 3 by 7, and I'm going to go back uh, 19 blocks into this wall. Alright, here goes nothing. So I'm going to do this for a while. <laughs> and what I'm, what I'm going to do is, while I'm doing this, I'm going to continue to breed more and more sheep in this pen over here. So as soon as that baby grows up, there'll be two pairs, there'll be two breeding pairs in there. And we'll just keep that going. So yeah, I'm going to... Uh, I don't know whether I should cut out or not. I still got some random chickens wandering around. Let me get these guys to come into a pen here. Oh, it looks like they're all interested in wheat. It looks like it, at least. How many chickens you can get in a hole? Oh god, creeper, 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 creeper. This is dangerous. Get out of here. I just don't want you blowing up my sheep. That's why I'm making this an indoor thing, actually. It's because I do not want the farm to get destroyed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit! No! Damn it! Creepers, you guys are irritating, you know that? Look at that, he didn't even manage to... I think he killed the chicken, actually, but he didn't manage to destroy the... No, the chicken's over there, he's fine. The chicken is okay! Ah, oh, put the dirt away, you're exciting the sheep. There's another hole down here where I had to fix a creeper hurl. Creeper hurl. A creeper hurl. A creeper hole earlier in the LP. That might have actually been off screen. I've had to do that a couple times. Derp. Get out of here. You get so much background noise from the animals running around, it can be hard to isolate the important sounds like creepers jumping around. <laughs> Silly chickens. Oh, look, they're all grown up, so that means they all like wheat! So I'll make you guys have a baby. Hopefully you two weren't the mother and son or something. And then over here, we've got you and you get to have a baby. You get a baby! You get a baby sheep! You get a baby sheep! Everyone gets a baby sheep! So now we're up to six from the original three. Nice. And we'll just let those... Uh, two grow up, and then we'll have three breeding pairs. And so you can see the Fibonacci sequence coming out of this. <laughs> that actually would be the Fibonacci sequence, I think, if you were to. Hmm. I'm not sure because you've started with you have you can have one, and then you add another. So you got one, one, and then you breed them, and you go up to. You would not go to two. You'd go to three. So the sequence would go two, three, four, six, nine. Um, 13, so it's not quite the Fibonacci sequence, it's something something related, though. I think it might be the sums of alternating Fibonacci numbers, but... I, I'm talking about math stuff that people are just like, do what? I mean, it's like, hello, I have a high school diploma, I do not know what the hell you are talking about most of the time. Uh, I... Ugh. Uh, I don't know what you guys' high school was like, but my high school, if you could read, you could get a high school diploma from my high school. I know some are better than others, but... Wait, did I seriously put this in, like, a recessed... I meant to build it on ground level, and it's now in a hole. I guess I can just make this ground level, sort of shovel out through here. I'm not really interested in terraforming the outside too much. I just want to get the interior bit done. So, I'm going to keep breeding these sheep, and I'm going to keep uh, balls and about digging into this tunnel. I guess I'll mark, like, here is the start. And I'll meet you guys when I've done that. Alrighty then, I've come up to the upstairs, and I'm taking all my smooth stone out of the furnaces, and I'm going to make it all into bricks. So I was figuring I'd show you guys this. And I'm also taking an entire stack of my iron ore that I've been collecting over the years, uh, or whatever, and I'm making it into all into ingots, so that I can use iron tools to dig out this area. Tink! Called it! <laughs> 
I'm getting better at predicting when my tools are going to break. Doesn't scare me anymore. Hooray! Oh, I love that sound. Tink. Ah, uh -huh, two in a row. Two in a row, my friends. Two in a row. Alrighty then. Oh, I have dug out 23 blocks in. I decided that would be just the right amount. Pretty much. And out here, do we have anybody interested in some wheat? No. So you got four baby sheep in there. Oh, I know why they're not growing up. This is they're not eating the grass. That's why. They need a bigger pen. Oh, the poor buggers. All right, let me increase the size of the pen. That'll keep them from totally eating all of the wool. Excuse me, all of the grass and making themselves all sad. Excuse me, guys. I don't want to punch you when I'm done with this. Get out of the way, guys. Dude, you sheep are crazy. Now, what you could do is just pen up a bunch of sheep and then dye them and start shearing them and you get all kinds of colors of wool and, yeah, you see, they eat the grass. And it looks like they'll only eat it if it actually has grass on it. That's what I'm getting from this. So, hmm. That means we're going to need to do some more work. Uh, the next step is going to be making the entire floor of this in interior structure dirt. Now, how do I want to do that? I guess it just means I'm going to punch out the entire floor. Replace it all with dirt so that this grass here will spread inside. And hopefully the sooner I get that started, the better, pretty much. That's how it goes. So I'm going to start from the inside and replace it layer by layer and watch it grow. It'll be an interesting little experiment, actually. See how long it takes. This is, necess this is, this is uh, necessary. The, this design I'm showing must absolutely be built on grass. Because the sheep will not regrow their wool unless they have grass to eat. And grass, as you know, will not spread to dirt blocks unless there are other grass not grass blocks nearby from which it can spread. Those of you who are quite clever will note that this is an opportunity f for a good use of the Silk Touch enchantment, because you're able to get grass to move to places where there is no nearby grass by picking up a grass block with a Silk Touch and placing it down wherever you'd like grass to start growing. It's a little bit easier than just trying to uh, force it by having it grow along some arbitrary path that you've created. Let me make sure we don't get mobs spawning in here. But for me, just letting it grow in from the door of the cave is, is likely going to be fast enough, so no worries. Hey guys, does anybody want some WHEAT?! <laughs> you get some wheat! You get some wheat! You get some wheat! You get some wheat! Everybody get some wheat! Alrighty then! The sheep are continuing to multiply, and the area has been dug out and the grass laid in. Now it's just a matter of time to let the grass grow and fill in. Meanwhile, I have some iron here that's waiting to be claimed as loot and stowed away. Now I want to do a little study here and show you guys how to make all the different kinds of dye. But thinking about it, I realized that I do not have all the different kinds of dye. Uh, I have here a chest where I've been keeping stuff that I can dye things with. Everything except lapis lazuli. Uh, so maybe I'll take some and put it over there. So you can see we have blue, yellow, red, and black. We lack uh, one of the primary pigments, which is green. And in order to get green, we need to find cactus. So we need to find cactus. <laughs> um, now if you look here on the minimap, I can zoom all the way out, and there are no cactus, there are no desert biomes in sight. So, I'm going to go on a little adventure. Alrighty then, what's up? We are back here. I have just arrived from our long adventure. I guess, hell, this probably should be its own video, shouldn't it? I don't even, I don't know where the videos are going to split. There's going to be so much, so much footage. 
But yes, we have cactuses. Hell yes, cacti. And I got a bunch of sheep here, probably ready to have babies. Some baby sheep? You make a baby! You make a baby! Everybody makes a baby! You? Yes? Okay, cool. Yes, look at all the sheep getting happy. Happy, happy sheep loving going on all right here. Screw you, rain. So this episode is just going to be weird to edit, I guess. I'm going to get some supplies, and then we'll start building the structure where the sheep are going to live. Oh, but first, I'm going to stick some cactuses down on some sand so that they can start growing. Because I don't want to use up all of them, what I have. Got sand in here somewhere. Four blocks of sand in my entire, my entire collection of sand. Four blocks. Alright, whatever. There we go. Alright, cool. So I'm gonna get my bricks and we'll start actually freaking building this place. I imagine that the uh, stuff we left is not has not grown in any of the grass and such. Because I don't think that they grow when you're that far off. I got a bunch of chicken eggs from this walk. It's all cool. I got a bunch of other junk in here too. We'll deal with that later. I'll organize that off screen. For now, let's go back downstairs. Let me show you the basic unit that this structure is going to be built from. And here's how this is going to work. We go down here, and you can build this whole thing out of grass if you wanted to. Yeah, it didn't. It's not. Some, it's not going to spread very quickly. So, all right. First thing. So we're going to put. Now nah, we want yes one two. Actually, we don't uh, need too much. We'll just do that for now. So we start with this, and we do a little arch like that. And then we need fences. Lots of fences. So I'm probably going to eventually cannibalize this sheep pen and use its fences. Getting near the end there, but firstly, we'll just use the ones I've got in my inventory. Boom. Make some fences. Come back in here. Ugh. And the way that this design goes is you put a fence here, a fence here, and a fence here. And the result is that a sheep that gets stuck in here is not going to be able to escape. If you put the sheep right this, and you fill this square in, and they just get this little pen that they, they can't get out of. And they get perfectly trapped in there. Now the only thing is, these can be a little, it's a little hard to get the sheep to come into these. So you have to basically back into it yourself. And so what you're going to have to do is build a little escape tunnel, essentially, back here. So dig, don't block, don't go one block, dig two blocks into the wall. If you're building out in the air, of course, you can just walk out behind the building, and so it's easier. But I did it in a, in a mountain, so I have to make a little escape tunnel for myself here. So I'm just going to dig this until I pop out into the open air outside. And basically, let me show you the f first... Sheep. I don't know what color he's going to be, so I'll just grab a random sheep. Now the fun part here is trying to get just one sheep to come with you. And let me tell you, it is a fun adventure. Looks like I got one that's interested. Come out here, will you? Alright, and then you, jerk face, go back inside the pen. Thank you. Alright, so you get him to follow you. And you're like, here, sheepy, 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 sheepy. Here, sheepy, 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 sheepy. And you walk back over here, and you're like, hello. And what you want to do is get him, sort of lead him this way. And if he's dumb, you can just sort of push him in. But most of the time, you have to sort of like, lead him with the wheat. And it might actually be easier to lead him down the tunnel and then lead them out of a particular place. So yeah, see, he's having, he's having a hard time figuring this out. There you go, that way. <laughs> get in there. Now I go back here, and he sort of follows me. Come on, you can do it. Good sheep. Good boy. Now, I'm just going to use dirt to sort of block his path in. Okay, so you see, now he's not going to be able to get back out of here, because I'm going to put a dirt block behind him. It actually would be easier if I did this the other direction. Have the sheep come in from this direction, and then block them up on the other way. So let me demonstrate how that would work. I'll just punch into my wall here. Come here, sheep. 
come on now. So with this method, you just start to delete them into a hole in the wall, which is much easier. So then they'll follow you down the tunnel. And since they're so dumb, you just swap your materials out. You say, come on, sheep, put some stuff there. You walk them out, and then you aim for this block that I'm looking at, and then swap and fill. So now he's stuck. And we have one sheep in our little sheep farm. And that's how it's going to go. I'm going to do this 16 more times, and I will have 16 sheep, 8 on each side. So I will meet you guys back. And uh, these are sort of stackable, too, so I'm going to build them close to each other. Like that. So the next one will be just one block over. So they'll have friends to talk to. It's not inhumane. The sheep love it. And we'll eventually get some glowstone lighting put in down here and stuff. So I will uh, meet you guys when I have... Uh, I'm not going to do any of the dying or anything yet. I'm just going to get all the sheep into their pens. Got you, you little bastard. All right. Now I can finally get to just dis demolish the rest of this farm and get my fences back. Yeah, we had some uh, creeper issues, to say the least. Thankfully, no sheep were harmed. Although, a piece of my fence did get blown up, which kind of sucks. I'm still waiting for dirt, or for grass to spread to most of that back there, but it's all right, it'll get there. I sort of seeded it with my... I actually cheated a little bit. Uh, I used too many items to put some grass back there just to help speed up the spread of it. That way we don't have to stand there for hours and just let it go. Really, I would just go AFK and turn it to difficulty to easy so I don't starve to death. Alright, let's go ahead and get rid of this farm out here. And then I'm going to... Yeah, let me show you what I've, what I've done over here. All little sheeples. You don't actually need the fences in between the sheep. I just like the way that it makes it look. So I'm probably gonna put them in anyway, because this this here is sufficient enough to hold one. So, and again, I have 16 of them, eight on each side, and they are very loud. So I'm going to delete all this stuff, and I'll meet you guys upstairs, and we will make all our dyes. Alrighty then, our next task is to make all the dyes. I went and harvested some cacti from the farm. So now we got some wools here. I don't actually need the wool, I need bone meal though. Alright, so let's go. I'm actually, let me clean my inventory out. It's a mess right now. Put this away. I put a little front on the, on the area down there so I don't need to hold any more building materials for a while. Put that stuff in there. The food goes over here. So we'll put away our wheat. Uh, I got one more cactus in here. I guess I'll hang on to that one. Whatever. I'm not going to need very many. So for the cacti, I actually need to make a... I need to cook some of them. I'll just cook those. I can burn sticks. It doesn't matter. Can I burn fences? I don't think you can burn fences. Can you burn a workbench? That'd be hilarious. Let me see. You can, you can burn a workbench. Oh, that's funny. So there's cactus green. Now, in the workbench... Okay, finish cleaning out your inventory first. Put, put that in there. Toss this up there. Smooth stone goes here. What else have I got? Rotten flesh, a map. Just toss that down on the hotbar. Alright. Actually, I'm going to put away everything that isn't related to what we're doing. So everything that isn't a die, it's going to toss it. Alright, so we'll start with black ink sacks in. That is your black dye. Um, blue, lapis lazuli, that's cool. Now you mix bone meal and lapis lazuli and you get light blue. So we're looking for 16 colors. Here we're going to get yellow from that. We're going to get red from the roses. Mix these to make orange dye. And we're going to mix bone meal and ink sacs to make gray dye. Do I only have those two ink sacs? I thought I had more than two. Hmm. Okay, well, I can go get more. It's not hard. Yeah, so I don't need the, I don't need the flowers anymore. I got the dyes already. So there's all that. Now if you mix 
Yeah, I'm gonna need another ink sack. Hang on, I'm gonna go punch a squid to death. Alright, I'm back and I punched a squid. He was a little bitch. He didn't have a chance. Alright, gray dye. And, ooh, no, not quite. Oh, it's light gray. Derp, I didn't even need to do that. Whatever, I got more stuff now, so boom, light gray dye. Make a little bit more gray dye just so I have enough of all this stuff. So there's all those. Now, rose red and bone meal. That's going to make you your pink dye. Just use up all my rose red, didn't I? It's a good thing the roses are easy to get, get a hold of. So there's more of those. Put that away. Put it away, put it away, put it away now. You mix red and blue and you get purple. Mix pink and purple. You get magenta. I'm going to make some more purple so, so I have purple. Oops, derping. Derping, derping hard. What I'm trying to do is make enough of each that I have extra oh, after I dye a couple sheep and some wool. So, yeah. Alright, let's get a spectrum growing here. So we're going to go from uh, purple to magenta to pink to red to orange to yellow. And now I need to do some greens. So come here, greens. Ah, uh, why didn't you finish cooking? I didn't put enough stuff in to cook you with. I don't have any other wood stuff to burn. Can you burn fences? I don't, think, I don't think you can burn fences. You can burn fences. Hell yes, I'm burning fences. All right. So you put a green and a yellow in, and you don't get anything because that's dumb. You put a <laughs> whoops. You put a green and a light blue. No, a green and a lapis lazuli, and you get cyan dye. So that's cool. So you go from yellow to oh yeah, you need light green. That's right. So it's a green and a bone meal. Make lime. So now I need a little bit more green. Thank you. <laughs> Put my fences away. All right, so we got purple, pink, purple, magenta, pink, red, orange, yellow, lime, green, cyan, light blue, blue, black, black, gray, light gray, white. Now, those of you who are really sharp will note that there's a color missing. And that is the color brown. Because I do not have any cocoa beans, I cannot make things brown. Because cocoa beans are only found in random loot chests in abandoned mine shafts, which I have not found uh, which I have not found any of yet. So oh shears. I need to make shears. Oh let me grab shears and glowstone for this. I don't have any shears yet, do I? I don't see any. I can just make some. Derp. A couple iron, please. Two iron diagonally makes shears. Now, here's something magical. If you dye a sheep, it will stay that color forever. And all the wool that you harvest off it ever after will be that color. Creepers are seriously derping. Get off my staircase. Seriously, you're irritating me. Don't blow up my stairs! God damn it! <laughs> Anger. Okay. Whatever. I don't really care that much. I'll fix it. I'll fix it off screen too, so the creeper doesn't get any satisfaction. And now down here. Oh, hello! I should have brought a sword. Oh, there's two. The sun will come out tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow. You're going to burn to death. I'm going to punch you first. Come on, punks. I got enough of both of y'all. You, you guys know that I, I kill zombies for a living, right? This is where all this experience came from. I kind of want to just run around until they start burning up. Save, save me, sheep. I bred you. You owe me your life. Zombie bastards. All right. Okay, lesson learned. This area needs to be brighter. Put some glowstone in down here or something. Kadunk, kadunk. How about every other space? That'll fill in nicely. Yeah, derp, running into stuff. Alright, cool. Now it's nice and bright in here. Happy sheep! Happy sheep! Alright. So I think I'm gonna start with um, brown here, and then I'll put purple next. So let me line up my dyes, actually. 
So the first side is going to have those there. Mm -hmm. That looks good. So we'll put purple on you, and you get magenta, and you get pink, and you get red, orange, yellow, and lime. And then on this side, see I still have dyes left over? Do you dudes. Is that eight? There should be eight here. What color am I forgetting? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. White! I'm not gonna make a white sheep. That's why there's one missing. Okay. Or I, I mean, I am gonna make a white sheep. It's just not gonna be. It doesn't have any dye, so he's already white. Okay. So there's all your colors of sheep! Hooray! But now to really make this pretty, what I'm gonna do is. I'm gonna shear all these bastards. I'm gonna take their wool, which will regrow the same color. And I'm gonna put a little block in front of them so I can tell which ones are which, even when they're sheared, in case I need to check on something or whatever. So this farm is gonna be like a minimal output in terms of like number of wolves. But it's decent, and the sheep will actually regrow their their uh Whoa, pretty quickly, so it's, it's gonna be. It's a lot faster than most of the farm things that I've done. Wow, let's look at my inventory. Um, what I should have done. I'm missing some fences there. Let me get a fence and a pickaxe. And a door. Alrighty then, I brought back down a door. Yes, two buttons. And a pressure plate. Keep this house safe. And I brought some chests and some more glowstone as well. So I'm going to do is put a chest here, chest here. Okay, so now what my plan is is to replace these guys. Uh, what's in front of them right now is sort of useless. It's just stone. So I'm going to replace it with wool of the appropriate color. So I know what color they are, even when they're being dumb. So you stay there, sir. Boom. You see, they like being in the little pens, so they don't even try and run. They don't even try and run. <laughs> Is that, like, a testament to that they're, like, total, like, loss of, like, hope and will to- Oh, look, he's going for it! He's making a run for it! Now, getting him back in there is gonna be fun. Trust me. Push. You little bastard. I swear. Mm. Angry sheep owner! Hang on a second. No, you don't, you little bastard. Get in there. Go! Go! Get get in there! You are a bad sheep! Bad! Go! Back to the pen! Get in there, you little... No! 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 Mm. 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 Gosh, they're like real farm animals. I had to wrangle some goats once. Oh, man, that took a while. Ah, there. No, don't try and escape, you little bastard. Nope, stop it! Stop it! Get in there! Hehe. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you could do this sooner if you had some wool to die. He's really going for it. This one's frisky. Go on now, get back in your pen. There, alright, so that's one side done. Now we'll do the same thing on the other side. Starting with green, and then cyan, and then blue, and blue. And black and then gray and then white and then pink. Okay, cool. What I can do is I can get my finger ready on the color that they're gonna be. Put it down fast so they don't have a chance to escape. Do I have any white wool with me? I do. Alright. Awesome. Whoops. Hooray! So now it's all done, except for the brown sheep. So, I do have a space, and I do have a sheep in there, so... At some point, we're gonna have to go find an abandoned mine shaft to get ourselves a brown sheep. But, our sheep farm is essentially completed. Like, challenge done. Hurrah! Hooray! Yes! So now I'm gonna put the various colors in here. I don't have any more pink. Pink, red, orange... Yellow, lime, and then I turn around, start with green, and then cyan, 
light blue, black, gray, light gray, white. And I'm, I'm going to bring my dyes down here too, actually. They're all in the chest upstairs, so I couldn't carry them all at once. So that is it. That is how you make a nice happy sheep farm. Hope you learn from my mistakes. I'm going to put in fences in there to make that look nice. I'm going to bring the dyes down here and finish up some final touches there. But overall, that is it. And that's all it takes. And it's essentially an infinite supply of wool, as long as you make sure you have grass in there. And the sheep don't mind it, obviously. It's, you know, don't call PETA or anything, so it's not really a big deal. Thank you guys so much for watching. This episode has been recorded for two hours and eight minutes. I almost consider it a science episode because we made a sheep farm in like a very industrious way, I think. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Uh, I will see you next time on Let's Play Minecraft Survival.